The Gila Cliff Dwellings sit in the heart of the Gila Wilderness, an hour and a half north of Silver City, three hours northwest of Las Cruces. These cave dwellings were inhabited by the prehistoric Mogollon people over 700 years ago and are some of the most significant remnants we have in our state of ancient Pueblo people. A scenic winding mountain road leads you from Silver City into the depths of the Gila Wilderness where you will find the trailhead leading to the cliff dwellings. Embarking on this mild hiking trail, you cross over the west fork of the Gila River and then cut through the Cliff Dweller Canyon. From the high mesas above to the river valley below, you're able to get a strong sense of the lush environment of plants and wildlife that helps sustain the Mogollon people in their days here. On the walk up, you get occasional glimpses of the cliff faces, but it's not until you climb further and round the corner that the caves are exposed. And it's magnificent! The way we enter the cave today is quite different from how the Mogollon would have done. Just imagine this entrance having ladders leading up to the rooftops of these structures versus an open doorway that you can walk through. Right away, you see how the Mogollon created a safe and desirable haven for themselves here. Perched high over the canyon, they have advantageous views of their own prey, as well as any potential threat to themselves. Being tucked into a cave, they have shelter and are securely protected. So it says here that there was actually a mural that sat right on this wall, but it also is a, just a test to showing the ancient architecture that the Mogollon people used here. There used to be full roofs and beams to protect within the cave. There's so much in here that it's left to the imagination. But I also had the opportunity so to speak with Superintendent Hugh Hawthorne to fill me in on some of the history. Well, this, this place is uh, it's unique uh, in that uh, it's the only major uh, dwelling that the Park Service has that, that has, has to do with the Mogollon culture. The other thing that people don't realize about this is that it was probably only occupied for 20 to 40 years. Really? It's really probably only one or two generations worth of people. The people back in those days were doing a lot of moving around, but people, they see this such a, an imposing place that people think, well, people lived here for hundreds of years. Yeah. And, and that's not the case. I said people used the caves before the building. There's probably a thousand years of use of the caves uh, before anything was built here. In today's day, we would call it prime real estate. Very much so. If you look, at, look out, you've got the great view. You've got the cave, which is relatively cool, a good water source down in the canyon. Plus, it's probably a place that's pretty easy to defend. It's remarkable to think how evolved people already were 700 years ago. I wonder how many of today's structures will stand the test of time the way these dwellings have. I guess only time will tell. When you're planning your visit to the Gila Cliff Dwellings, here's some things to keep in mind. The Cliff Dwellings are an hour and a half north of Silver City, three hours northwest of Las Cruces. The Cliff Dwellings are only accessible by a short, unpaved hike. The Cliff Dwellings are open daily except for New Year's Day and Christmas, but will be closed for safety if thunderstorms are in the area. Check your local forecast before you visit.